You know, and as soon as we get back to ourselves and we really learn ourselves and really understand what learning who we are, what that really means. The monetary unit was really introduced to enslaved people. How did you? It's not easy when you out here breaking generational curses. People with no soul being around and make me feel nervous. If you study real history, you know why they want to curse us. Why they all trying to hurt us? No more church service. What's up, Motion Gang? How are you guys doing today? So, y'all lucked up. I finally started a vlog again at the beginning of the vlog instead of like after I done did a bunch of stuff and started recording in the middle of my vlog. So I think these are in for a treat. <laughs> so you know what I got to do? You know what I got to do? I gotta work out because I ain't worked out in a minute. I'm getting a little chunky. And I really like to work out in the winter time because I feel like that's when most people don't really work out and keep up with their body as we really gain a lot of weight because it's all these holidays and so many breaks you take and stuff like that. And it's cold, you just want to chill and hibernate. So I'm, I like to do the opposite. I like to keep my body on point. And that's really how I've noticed that I maintain my body to not go over a certain weight is just work out during the seasons where most people ain't working out, but try to work out every day, do something every day, but definitely work out in the seasons where everybody's usually not doing, not working out and stuff like that because that's how you stay ahead of the game. So let's get it. Okay guys, <clears throat> I'm done working out, excuse me. And I'm ready to go. I'm gonna shoot some more content today too. I think I'm gonna do some grills. Going to grab the food and I really, oh, I need to get some boots, boots because me and Cosmic are going out tomorrow to the adult game place, your third spot. So I got an outfit and I need some boots and some leggings to go with it. So I'm gonna pull shopping with me a little bit. No better time than now. No better time than now, y'all. How did you uh, come about and uh, finally get to the place where you're at right now? Okay, so I'm Motion Energy and I'm a holistic advisor slash influencer and coach. And what I do is, is I help people transition from eating meat to plants. And sometimes people don't want to eat meat, but they do want to find healthier options or help cure themselves from different sicknesses that they may have. So I do help guide people just to transition their lifestyle and find different alternative methods versus using medicine or any other type of meat that they may think they have to have to in order to stay healthy i help them find a plant or even a vegetable to help replace that so they can have a healthier lifestyle and live longer and help educate them so that not only can they help themselves but they can help others and change generations of their family's health because health is wealth okay without our health we can't do anything. You can't spend the money that you make. So what would be the point of going to your job to retire 
if you can't even be healthy enough to even spend that money or even help your family. So we really got to get our health intact, especially during this time, because what's really going on is this, as the sun is getting hotter, it's speeding up everything. It's speeding up all the processes, even our body. It's just like our car. If you drive your car faster, you're going to need to get an oil change faster. You're going to need to put gas in it faster. The same with our bodies. With the sun being our main power source, our main generator, it's speeding up everything. It's speeding up our molecular structures in our bodies, which is causing our bodies to go through a process faster. So that's why you see all these people um, all of a sudden just dropping like flies or maybe getting sick. And it seems like it's out of nowhere, but it's if you really look at it, if you've really been paying attention since maybe about 2019, that's when the sun has started to get hotter and hotter. And this is when all these, you know, the pandemic came around and all these people just started dying from different things. And you see even younger people dying um, from all these mysterious deaths or they're calling it, um, I forgot what it's called. Um, when you die from, a, they have a, a medical term for it now. When you're, these young people are just dying, they don't have no proper diagnosis for it. But it's really because of all of this unhealthy food that we've been eating. Like, even our plants, like, even when you become vegan, a lot of people think that vegan is just automatically healthy. But that doesn't necessarily mean that's the healthiest option because they're now spraying the plants with chemicals. So we even now have to be careful with what type of plants we're even eating. So I'm just helping educate people, learn the difference between a vegan diet, alkaline, raw, and just completely um, plant-based because there are different things. There's so much information out here. And the same people that put out all of these terrible things for us to eat are the same people that are going to pretend like they care about our health. So now you see all these new plant-based options coming out of nowhere, but we still have to take heed because they don't really care about us being healthy. They want the control, they want the power, and they want our money to continue to fund that. So of course they're going to start creating all of these things for us um, to seem like, you know, that they care about our health, but real, in reality they really just care about the money. They just want the money and the control. And the way to do that is through the food and the music and jobs. And that's through our finances. And that's what really led me to look into like, how do we really become free? Like, how do we get in this position that we even got into in the first place? Like, where did this all come from? And the deeper I started looking into that, I realized like we really lost our freedom when we started to trade it for things outside of ourselves that we really didn't need, like money, you know, status, power, all these things just being greedy. When at first we were working together collectively because we knew it was the right thing to do. We knew it was just natural to us. It wasn't something that we had to be told what to do. We didn't have to be told how to treat each other. To, just like trees didn't have to be told how to grow. Animals didn't have to be told how to go out and feed for themselves. We didn't have to be told how to treat each other until other people came and they kind of confused us maybe. I'm not sure, it's so many different stories, you know, that we could, we could come up with or we can look into of how we got to this place. But what we need to realize is when we traded in our souls and spirituality for materialistic things, that is when everything started to go astray. And that's how they figured out how they were gonna control us is by the money and the power. And now what you're going to see is they're going to start, what you're seeing is with the housing market is they're charging so much for rent and housing that their your job is going to now going to offer you somewhere to stay so that you don't have to pay for that. So now your job is paying you and you have a free place to stay. So now you're even more comfortable with working a job, which is really what modern day slavery is. The job is modern day slavery because a lot of us, we don't really have a ch choice. Most people don't have a choice but to work. They put the system in place for us to pay bills. They created money out of thin air so that we can continuously be in debt and put our energy and soul into funding something that doesn't even need to exist and it doesn't have to exist for everybody to get what we want. And if we really think about it, if we all took the money that we do have and helped each other, we could literally solve this problem with what they caused it with. But we don't really think like that. We have so many things like politics, religion, schools, 
you know, whatever you, whoever you want to date, just separating us from working together when all we have to do is just work together one way or another. If we all leave our jobs at the same time or if we all don't give money to each other, we can literally dismantle this system and destroy it and bring wealth to everybody equally so we don't have to continue to be told what to do or do things against our will or wake up at hours that we don't want to wake up just to work a job that we really know we don't want to do. Like deep down inside, most of us know we don't want to work these jobs. If you don't want to do the job for free, then you you are pretty much a slave. If you won't do it for free, if you won't just go out here and do it because you love it, then you're pretty much a slave. If you have to get up every day or you will lose everything that you have, you're a slave to your job. You're a slave to whatever that is and you don't have to be. You can still have the life that you want and you don't have to work on somebody else's terms, somebody else's time. You can choose to do whatever it is you want, but a lot of people, they fear being responsible. I feel like the government and the school system and so many things have made us comfortable and handicapped us so that we're fearful of taking everything into our own hand, matters in our own hand, being responsible for our own future. It's easy to go get a job and be like, okay, this person is gonna pay me. I know every two weeks or every week I'm gonna get paid. I know this for a fact. It's scary when you don't know that, okay, you may not get paid in two weeks. You may not get paid in three weeks. You may get paid $300 one day. Three weeks from now, you can get paid 3,000 or even two days, somebody may give you $30,000, but the only way that's gonna happen is if you take your own future in your own hands. And another thing is a lot of people, they're not consistent. Like, and it's hard, it's not hard to be consistent. I think it's just what people need to learn to do if you do. Exactly, exactly. It is, but the, you do it. Let me, let me say this, let me say because you're going in and I want you to continue, continue to go in. You guys call in 516-453-9174. I do see all the callers on the line. I promise you, I'm gonna get to you guys. We're going in tonight. Knowledge equals freedom, how to escape the rap race with grace. And we're talking emotion, energy. A lot of people have been uh, very excited about this interview, been sharing a lot of your material and content and stuff like that with me. But I'll say this, I'll say this, is that the regular job routine, the plug-in job, makes people lazy because really, um, they just need a body. And most of these jobs, they're just there to be an energy vacuum for you. You know what I'm saying? They're just sucking your energy. And you and you surface your energy. So when it comes to actually being responsible and having to do what it needs to do, what you need to do to take the destiny in your own hands while the cause the new manifest destiny, the true manifest destiny. When it comes to that, people just don't know because all they have to do is